Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. In this video, I have Sonoff ZigBee door window sensor, SNZB04. I will show you how to set it up and how to use it. This device is designed with ZigBee 3.0 protocol with better security, flexibility and the ability to deploy to different regions. Also, ZigBee 3.0 certification scheme ensures interoperability of products with different manufacturers. All in all, ZigBee 3.0 features are low power, reliable, scalable, secure and global standard. Using this device, or let's say using ZigBee devices, we need ZigBee hubs. In this video, I use Sonoff ZigBee Bridge as hub. Let's start setting up the device and using it. Before that, I thank Seper Monavar Group and Artman Company for supporting me to make this video. As I said in the introduction part, in order to use ZigBee devices, we need a ZigBee hub. In this video, I use Sonoff ZigBee Bridge. Let's unbox it. In the box, we have the QC, quick manual, and the Sonoff Bridge. Let's power on the device. I use USB socket to power on the device. After powering on the device, we'll enter the quick pairing mode during the first use. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash. This device will exit the quick pairing mode if not paired within three minutes. If you want to enter this mode again, long press the pairing button for about five seconds. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash. While the ZigBee bridge is in pairing mode, in order to pair it with Evelink app, on Evelink app I touch plus, then select quick pairing. Touch add one device, select the Wi-Fi, I want to connect this device to it and its credentials, then touch next. Wait till pairing is done. device added successfully, you can set a name for it and choose a room for it. Then click or let's say touch done. Wait till the device is displayed on Evelink app. Let's unbox the door window sensor. This is transmitter. This is QC pass qualification. In the box, we have 3M for installing the device, 3M tapes. This is the magnet. And also we have quick manual. It's time to pair Son of Zigbee door window sensor. First of all, remove the back cover of transmitter. Pull out the battery insulation. Now I take the cover in its place. Access Evelink app, select the bridge that you want to connect. I select ZB bridge, or let's say I touch it, then tap on add to add the sub device. 
Okay, the bridge is ready to add or let's say pair devices to it. Here we have to press the pairing button of door window sensor and hold it for five seconds. I use a needle to do that. LED indicator shows the pairing situation. Be patient until pairing completes. As you see, Evelink app shows one device is found. While pairing the device, put it as close to the Zigbee bridge as you can. One device added, I touch confirm. As you see in a Zigbee bridge, we have window door sensor. It is online. You can use it by selecting door window sensor. We are navigated to log of the door sensor. The sensor allows you to go back to the history records over past three months. We have the status of the battery. You will get a notification of low battery level when the battery life gets 10% remaining. As you see, a new firmware is available for the bridge. I select three dots at the top right corner of the screen. I select current version. Then I touch update now. Touch confirm. Now the Zigbee bridge is being upgrading. Zigbee Bridge is updated successfully. In this page, the setting of Zigbee Bridge, we can change its name, assign location to it, share it with other family members. Also, you can delete the device. In the main page, we have Zigbee Bridge in addition to its sub device, which is door window sensor. I tap on door window sensor. You can sync camera to the device if you have a Sonoff IP camera. At the top right corner of the screen, I tap on the camera icon. In this page, we have the list of cameras. I select the camera and touch save. The camera is synced with door window sensor. By clicking three dots at the top right corner of the display on Evelink app, we enter to the setting of door window sensor. We can change its name, assign location to it, and enable push notification. Also in this page, we can delete the device. You see, as the door sensor is tricked, we have a flash in Sonoff Bridge. In installing the device, try to align the mark line on the magnet with that on the transmitter. Make sure the installation gap is less than 10 millimeters when the door or the window is closed. The installation height of less than 2 meter is recommended. While installing Sonoff door window sensor, make sure you mustn't install it outdoor. 
you mustn't install it near wires or magnetic devices. It mustn't be exposed to rain or moisture. Also, you mustn't install it in unstable positions. Also, you can use these door window sensors in scenes with other Sonoff devices, whether they are Zigbee or Wi-Fi. In order to delete sub device, which in this video is door window sensor, long pressing the pairing button for five seconds, the device will be deleted from the Evelink app and Sonoff Zigbee bridge. Also, by going to the setting of the device at the bottom of the page, by touching delete device, you can remove it. Let's unpair the device, pressing the pairing button for five seconds. The device is deleted from a link app. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.